Robert Emmett Hannigan June 30, 1903 to October 6, 1949, was a St. Louis, Missouri politician who served as Commissioner of Internal Revenue from October 1943 to January 1944. He also served as Chairman of the Democratic National Committee from 1944 to 1947 and United States Postmaster General from 1945 to 1947. After his political career, in 1947, Hannigan and partner Fred Say purchased the St. Louis Cardinals of Major League Baseball. But Hannigan, ill with heart disease, sold his share in the team to Say a few months before his death. <laughs> Early life He was born on June 30, 1903 in St. Louis, Missouri, the son of Anna Holden Hannigan and policeman John Patrick Hannigan. He earned an LL.B. from the St. Louis University School of Law in 1925. On November 14, 1929, Hannigan married the former Irma Protzman, with whom he had four children. <laughs> Political career A power broker in the St. Louis Democratic Party allied with Senator Bennett Clark, Hannigan helped save the political career of Harry S. Truman in 1940 following the tax fraud conviction of Truman's ally, Kansas City boss Tom Pendergast. Hannigan supported Truman for re-election to the U.S. Senate when he was challenged in the Democratic primary by Governor Lloyd C. Stark and Maurice M. Milligan, who both sought credit for bringing down Pendergast. Truman re-won the seat with increased support in St. Louis, particularly from Catholic neighborhoods in which Hannigan wielded considerable influence. In his second term, Truman achieved national prominence by chairing a Senate committee investigating government waste in defense contracts. When Franklin D. Roosevelt offered Truman the position of DNC chairman, Truman declined but recommended Hannigan. In 1944, Roosevelt appointed Hannigan, who had been the collector of internal revenue in St. Louis, to the DNC after testing him by asking for his help with his income tax return. As Democratic chairman, Hannigan was responsible for brokering the deal that made Truman Roosevelt's running mate that year. Shortly before the 1944 Democratic National Convention, Roosevelt famously sent Hannigan a letter stating he would be happy to run with either Truman or Supreme Court Justice William O. Douglas. Vice President Henry A. Wallace nearly won the nomination, but Hannigan worked feverishly to secure Truman's nomination. Hannigan later joked he wanted his tombstone inscribed with the words, Here lies the man who stopped Henry Wallace from becoming President of the United States. Though plagued with ill health for much of his tenure as party chairman, Hannigan emphasized voter turnout efforts in Roosevelt's 1944 re-election campaign and prevented an upset by Thomas Dewey, who won a surprising 46% of the popular vote that year. He promoted a liberal policy agenda for the National Party and was a strong advocate of labor unions. Hannigan stepped down as chairman after Democrats suffered congressional losses in the 1946, the midterm elections, but his ideological focus at the helm of the party contributed to Truman's upset win in the presidential election of 1948, and influenced his fair deal proposals. <laughs> Death Hannigan died in St. Louis, Missouri, on October 6, 1949. He is interred in Calvary Cemetery in St. Louis, Missouri. In popular culture Hannigan was mentioned in the film Miracle on 34th Street in his role as Postmaster General. Therefore, in the film, by implication, he was responsible for affirming that Mr. Chris Kringle, the central character was the one and only Santa Claus. Hannigan was portrayed by actor John Finn in the 1995 film Truman. 